it's too little. Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> and you are, sir. My name is Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Yeah. Um, do you see? Um, how do you? What do you want to say? I don't know what to say. How do you? Um, do you see the homeless a lot? Constantly. Constantly. Okay. Yeah. And what are your thoughts? Uh, what would you like to say? Well. Does it bother you? Does it worry you? Well, well it's a worry. Yes, it, it worries me. I, I feel uh, sympathy and empathy and then irritation depending on my mood. Uh -huh. um, oftentimes, uh, you know, I, I ride the bus all the time, so, and I, I own a small restaurant, so I'm constantly having people come up and oh, say, Oh, you, you own a restaurant yeah, in the area. Yeah, fatty snack shack. <laughs> I got people asking me for, you know, do you, do you have anything left over? And no, uh, anything left over. Right, and right. I want to say, uh, you know, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a soup kitchen, it's a restaurant. Right. And, you right. know, and we walk on the street, smoking a cigarette, constantly being bummed for smokes. Right. But, you know, it's, uh, Eugene has a reputation of being relatively comfortable place for homeless people to live, though I would go somewhere warmer if right. I was homeless. I can get, and I'm going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Nobody's helping. I, the only one that's going to help me here is me. And, and uh, so I'm busting my butt, trying to get things put back together, and the, the harder I try, it seems like, have you ever walked up a sand dune, and you're walking two steps up, or three steps back? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it's like. Yeah, speak up. Physical. Okay, what happened? Oh, she hit me. Sometimes. So I. Was there alcohol related or? No. She was just really mad. Okay. All right. And um, what is the what's the worst place that you slept at? Worst place? Okay, I have a friend who lives right down the road who is like not he doesn't have a clean house and there's like nowhere to sleep and these animals. Don't, like none of them are house chained. So this is a really yeah. bad place to be in and there's like no food or anything there. I don't even, I don't know. I, there's water. I don't really trust it, but there's water. But, so it's not really like a running house? No. It's, it was a house that had a heater. That was it. Like, nothing okay. It's, it's just not a cool place to be. Okay. And what's the worst part of your lifestyle right now? Um. What's the hardest thing? I worry about what's going to happen in the future because I don't know. It's, it's difficult to know exactly what's going to happen next to my life. Are you going to be at the Homeless Connect on Thursday? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. I got places to go for now, I know that. Okay, good. good. Okay, does anybody else want to talk about what we're... I've been homeless before. Okay, are you uh, couch surfing right now? No, um, got back up. Um, I got my apartment now with my aunts. Um, but a while back before I was... When I was 16 years old, just like Trevor, I, um, my parents we lost our house because we couldn't afford the rent. Uh huh. And <laughs> we really lucked out because we had a friend who knew the ladies at the moment, at the manager of uh, the really, really, really camera right? so We stayed there for a few nights. I won't want to see my car. Can you repeat that again? We stayed in a motel for a few days. Uh -huh. But we couldn't afford the whole thing the whole time. So we had to sleep in my dad's truck. And it uh -huh. was me, my three sisters, and my mom, and my stepdad. And, I don't know. Like, I didn't care about myself. Like, I always could get food or whatever if I needed it. But I was really worried about my little sisters because that totally hit them hard, really hard. And it sucked. Right. And what is your name, sir? My name is Anthony. Uh huh. And how old are you? I'm 16. Okay. And how long have you been homeless for? Uh, only about a month and a half ago. Yeah. What circumstances led to that? Um, we got evicted from our apartment. And my mama went to live with her friend and my sister and her husband and my daughter went to live with my next door neighbor. And I was pretty so you guys all kind of separated? Yeah. Okay. And um, what's the hardest part about being homeless? Just having to worry about where I was sleep that night or, you know, how I'm going to eat or... What have you eaten today? I haven't eaten anything today.